And coming up next, one university's STEM-related senior projects are designed to help people in need. You'll learn all about that when Street Beat comes back right after these messages. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Street Beat. I'm your host, Amir Mako. The University of Detroit Mercy encourages their seniors to create final projects that they call capstones that actually help people in need. Students from Detroit's Mercy College of Engineering and Science and career health programs, such as nursing students, they work in groups with engineering students from Lawrence Tech to create devices that help improve the quality of life for disabled individuals. Now, Gary Irwin is here. He's the Associate Vice President for Marketing and Communications, and he's going to tell us about those and other programs at Detroit Mercy. Gary, welcome. It's good to have you here. Thank you for You know, I'm a Detroiter. I've lived here all my life. And I have always, and, and my sister uh, went to uh, U of D Mercy. But it's, it's, it seems like it's been there forever. And it's just a beautiful school with such a history and such character. Uh, it's really good to see you doing some exciting things over there. We really are. A um, number of the programs are doing extremely well. Students love it. Um, they love the fact that Detroit is on such a huge resurgence. Uh, so there's a lot of energy and vitality in the uh -huh. programs and certainly in the community itself. And oftentimes energy and vitality is exactly what you need to take you, take you over the edge. Oh, for sure. And I think that's, you know, students really respond to that. They want to get out and help the community take their high-end academic achievement and, and apply it to yeah. things like yeah. that. So. We're talking about help the community. What is Capstones? Tell me about that. Well, this is a project that was developed about nine years ago uh, from Dr. Daryl Klinke, um, a, an opportunity where you can blend um, nursing students and engineering students together to work with uh, clients at the VA hospital uh, to develop assistive technology devices that would actually help improve their quality of life. So basically, uh, seniors go through the programs, work closely together in this interdisciplinary uh, type program opportunity and try to help people in need, people who really... How? How do they do well, that? Well, as an example, um, some of the folks at the, the VA hospital, disabled vets, for example, um, have a hard time gripping things. So the students meet with the clients in the VA hospital to find out what their issues are. Everyday basic challenges, picking up a, a frying pan in order to, to use it in the kitchen. And they work with them to ascertain some of the problems and issues that they have and try to develop uh, devices that would actually improve that capability without uh, hurting their bodies physically or anything like that. So it's a real neat project um, where they uh, use their engineering skills, their nursing skills. They work very closely with their LTU counterparts and the faculty from both institutions to meet some basic life improvement needs that these folks need. But I'm just kind of thinking as you're talking, how, I mean, that's some pretty specific stuff there. Mm -hmm. how, uh, to put, to, to invent something basically to help yes. people, I mean, it's, it's, how do they, how are they able to do that? Well, um, it really began with, um, as I mentioned, Dr. Uh, Klinke and, and another uh, faculty member, uh, Molly McCord from our, uh, McClellan from our um, School of Nursing. They approached the VA hospital because they wanted to do some capstone projects that were not just necessarily automotive related. They wanted something that would fit our mission, which mm -hmm. is to serve those in need take your, your high-end academic experience and, you know, go beyond yourself, see what you can do. It's great to earn a great career and, and great income. Sure. But sure. really going beyond that, how can you help? Make you a know, difference. Exactly. Make a difference. That was really part and uh, really at the heart of this project. And so when they approached the VA hospital, um, they were all for it because, you know, our, our vets are very important. Um, they should be, and they are. But more importantly, some of them were facing some very um, difficult um, basic life challenges, mm -hmm. um, getting inside and out of a um, shower, for example, uh, moving their wheelchair Things we all around. take for granted. Right. Yeah. And so um, the students love it because they get to meet with the clients, work directly with the VA hospital to find out what they need, what the clients need, not to mention the fact that they get to work with a vulnerable population who's already committed so much to our country. And now to be able to see these devices help them it's, it's, it's it fascinating. It really cements the learning. Mo you have, it's nursing, right? And then also mm -hmm. uh, engineering. Right. Now, both uh, have the relationship with Lawrence Tech? Yes, they, they all, um, work very closely with uh, Lawrence Tech. Uh, their students are involved, biomedical 
uh, I'm sorry, biomechanical engineering mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, program works very closely with us. Students get along great. It teaches them uh, how to network and work collaboratively with folks with diverse opinions and ways to approach a problem and come out with a solution that is equitable and really works for the client. And that's really at the heart of this. So. Wow, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. They must feel really good. Oh, they do. <laughs> when they've been able to do something that's been so... Oh, they love it. I mean, um, I think one of the hardest things for the students is when they do graduate, you know, they have they get a career and they want to stay with the project. But, you know, a lot of students in today's economy have to take on student loans and things of that nature. So um, many of them do try to mm -hmm. contribute to the project after they leave. Um, so it's real important that we try to develop relationships with corporate partners who might even take it and further okay. extend it. We're out of time, Greg. Is Greg Mathis involved in your program, is or was? Or? Um, he's an alumni. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, All he right. was just honored at our Spirit Awards for Alumni Achievement, um, Judge Math is just it's wonderful. Day. Wonderful. Yeah. Continued success to you. Sounds like a wonderful program. Thank you. And uh, I wish you tremendous success with that. I uh, hope you get the word out because that's very important. If you like speaking of get the word out, more information, go to udmercy.edu.